question. What do I think of when I hear Jim Hughes? Um, I think cool gadgets. He always had the coolest little devices and gadgets, and he knew all about the up-and-coming technology, and was a lot more well-versed than I ever was in it. Um, another thing I think of is the word structure. Jim likes to use the word structure. So uh, everything is very structured. It's built on structures. Um, but uh, it's kind of a good paradigm to use. Um, very innovative. Uh, always looking to apply the most upcoming technology to what we do here at Henry Schein. Um, yeah, that's that's my insight into it. I mean, Jim was the mastermind and the 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 guts behind what we did. When I think Jim Hughes, I think of uh, the future. Yeah, I think Jim is a is a futurist, and he's always planning what to do next. What's the next step? You know, how are we going to get to uh, wherever we want to be um, using not just technology that we have, but technology that we're going to soon have or that we we could possibly have. And uh, I think Jim would do um, awesome if he had his own, um, you know, industrial design company where he could you know, plan out these things and, and have a bunch of people say, "Okay, I want to, I want to invent this. Go, go make that." And uh, I think if he had a bunch of an army of little workers like that, you know, he would soon rule the world. Hey, Jim. Um, just wanted to say that uh, it's been a pleasure uh, working with you these past 15 years. Um, couldn't ask for someone better to work for. Um, it was really great in that uh, when I started, you kind of insulated us from upper management. We didn't have to deal with all those issues. So when you kind of moved on, it kind of changed a little bit, a little bit different, and we realized we missed your presence there in, in development. Um, but uh, it was always great to be able to continue to work with you in different endeavors. Um, you were always a professional, and uh, I learned a lot from you, and I really enjoyed working with you. Okay, um, Jim, um, been lots of years that we've been working together, and um, one thing that I've always really, really appreciated about you is that I always felt like you had our back, that um, you understood us, you understood the developers, you understood how A plus B does not equal C, or not always equal C, and that um, sometimes in this creative process there's things that go awry and that we have to fix. And you're always there for us to explain to the management um, just how that worked, and I always really appreciated that about you. Um, I worked a lot of years with you in the office right down here when I reported to David and David reported to you, and there's always such a just uncomplicated and um, just a happier atmosphere here when you were there. We uh, we always were busy and happy and knew what to do and and we knew that there was somebody sitting in there that really cared about us and, and that truly meant a lot um, and we're going to miss you. Hey Jim, uh, congratulations on your retirement. I know you've probably moved on to bigger and better things but just wanted to let you know that we're going to miss you around here and also want to thank you for everything that you've done for all of us here in development and for me personally over the last 15 years appreciate um, all you've done for your leadership and example and for this great legacy that you've established for all of us um, let me first say to you Jim thank you again for the opportunity you've given me at uh, Dentrix you hired me back 12 years ago, and uh, I really appreciate that, giving me my career start, so to speak. Um, I enjoyed working with you, um, been a great mentor, um, a real great visionary, I think, for our company and our departments. Um, I don't think we would be where we are without you and your leadership. And I hope that's something I'll be able to take with me forward in my career, is to remember the things that you've done and kind of implement those as well. But again, Jim, thanks for everything you've done for me personally and for this company, and um, we hope to continue the uh, progress that you've put in place. Thanks. And I just want to say a couple things about you and, and uh, the relationship that I think that we've developed over time. Um, first of all, when I think of Jim Hughes, 
Um, I really actually consider you to be a father figure to me. Uh, you impacted me early on in my career in development and taught me to think about things a completely different way than I was raised to think and I, I really appreciate uh, that impact that you've had on, on me both professionally and, and quite frankly personally. So congratulations Jim on retirement. What a great thing for you. Uh, when I hear about the name Jim Hughes, the first thing that comes to my mind is innovation and uh, uh, perseverance and being able to put together some pretty amazing things to change an industry. I don't, I don't remember the first time I met Jim. Um, I do remember going home and talking to my wife and saying, oh my gosh, there's this guy there and he's up on the third floor and he's like one of the big guys in charge and he's like, he's this really nice grandpa type huggable teddy bear guy with a, I think he had a big beard at the time. I told her, he's just, he's just this nice guy. He doesn't fit in because I would think of really hardcore like business guy, but he's just like this guy that you just want to kind of give a hug to. And I told my wife about it and she was all excited because, hey, that's great. You found someone that's not intimidating and scary business person. And I like that. And as I got to know Jim, it was nice because he, uh, he gave a lot of advice to me and a lot of help that I really appreciated. Uh, he was always down to earth and excited about technologies and things that I was excited about. And as I was trying to figure out what I want to do and how I want to progress in terms of architecture and what that we want to do at work, he always was a good sounding board, always really thought things through, and he was the kind of person that I, I looked as a role model, wanted to model myself after and try to be more like. And I'm disappointed, honestly, and sad that he won't be here because it's something that I, I really enjoyed and, and it gave me an opportunity to to understand what I need to do. Um, you kind of see life as you kind of, people have gone before you kind of figure out what they've done good and try to figure out what they've accomplished and try to mimic your, yourself and figure out what, how that'll give you an advantage in life and stuff. And there was just so much to learn from him. I really appreciate it. Um. My advice for retirement is to uh, stay out of the house because you know you, you live your, your whole life with, with your wife and she's expecting you to, to go away at a certain point in the day and then come back. And then whenever you wreck that balance, that, you know, bad things happen. So maybe go to a movie or you know, go invent something that uh, will change the world. And I, I think if you, if you stick to that, you'll, you'll be doing good. As far as advice, I'd say stay away from the leisure suits and the... You know, try try to have dinner after like 6 p.m. Not not doing the early bird 4 p.m. dinner things. Um, you know, try to keep up on technology to keep yourself fresh. Uh, I don't think you're the kind of, uh, that Jim's the kind of person to uh, you know leave that behind. But uh, yeah, that's that's my advice. As far as uh, advice on the future, um. It's ways off for me, so it's like I'm not sure what I would do, um, other than probably play golf. So I'd probably say enjoy yourself, travel, enjoy some games of golf or whatever you'd like, and just have some fun. Thanks. Hope you have a, a good retirement. See ya. So my advice would just be to um, to keep active, to keep busy, volunteer for things, and above all. Um, enjoy your family and enjoy this time that you've deserved for all your hard work. That's it. It's funny that someone who's probably pretty far from retiring is being asked to give advice, but I know that I'm constantly thinking personally right now that I would love to take some time off, go spend it with my family, go enjoy my children, and the one thing that prevents me from doing that right now is my job. And as someone who's now retired, I'm sure you probably feel the same way. Go, get in your RV, get in your truck, whatever it is you have. Go to the mountains, go to St. George, enjoy your life, because this is, the job's no longer in the way. We're gonna miss you.
far as retirement goes, I don't know. My father, my stepfather, when he graduated, uh, retired, sorry, same kind of thing in my mind. Graduating, retirement, same thing. <laughs> but when he retired, he uh, went insane. He had nothing to do. So I would recommend find a hobby fast, immediately. Um, augmented reality is really cool. You can go with that. I like that. Um, you always get RFID and make all your doors open up electronically when you wave your hand in front of it. Jedi, that'd be cool. Um, that'd be really cool. There's invisible doors. I don't know if you've seen those lately. There's a YouTube video. The doors go away and then they come back up. That'd be cool. So that'd be a good hobby. I'd recommend things like that. Keep you busy. Cool technology. That's totally what I would do. <laughs> and as far as advice goes, um, I've actually got an email list that I'll send you of local restaurants that serve breakfast late. You're going to need that now that you're going to be rolling out of bed at noon every day. Best wishes, Jim. Um, as far as uh, what you can do now, it's <laughs> a good question. Uh, um, paint, I guess. You know, I'm sure your kids would love to have some paintings in their homes. Maybe a couple of them. You don't have to be good paintings either. You know, the worse the better, and then you force your kids to put them. In prominent spots in their homes and they had to explain it to people years to come where they got these paintings. That's what my father did to me and I press that on you. Other than that, um, just enjoy yourself. Um, keep yourself busy. I don't know, Walmart might be looking for greeters still. I don't know. Maybe I'll see you there someday. But